Welcome back to the Dave's Gone By Holiday Show. Hope you've been enjoying the music, both holy and moly. We've got something really special right now, something not heard on this station since 1954. In fact, it may never have been heard. As you know, WGBB is one of the oldest radio stations in the country. I think it's 77 years at this point. And it's always had eclectic but local programming with a long tradition of black and country gospel. Well, one of the most popular hosts 50-odd years ago was someone named Lady Miss Ida Mae Roosevelt. I think she was in her late 70s, belonged to a Baptist church out uh, in what was then the boondocks in western Suffolk. And Lady Miss Ida Mae's show, judging by people who remember her, was a mix of religious preaching, advice, asking for donations, and songs that she would make up when the spirit moved her. Now, ordinarily, we wouldn't have such a clear idea of who Ida Mae was or her show. She's been off the air since 1958. And WGBB has never been in the habit of recording its programming, so there's no permanent archive, as far as I know. It's all lost in the ozone. However, this one time, just by fluke, the station was apparently having signal trouble, and it was Christmas, so all the big technical people were gone. So the engineers told the show hosts, look, we might lose power in the middle of the show, or the signal might conk out, nothing we can do. But one engineer was extra conscientious. He set up a reel-to-reel tape and recorded the programming, on the odd chance that the signal would go off. That way, the show could be played back another time. I don't know if they ever lost power that night, but the important thing is that the audio tape survives. We found it in a back room at the station, under a pile of trophies for James Hodge. I've given it a listen, and it's pretty fabulous, just for nostalgia value. She had the 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. slot, and this is an excerpt from the middle of the show, just to get a taste of what she sounded like Christmas Day so many years ago, Lady Miss Ida Mae Roosevelt. Welcome back, beloved listeners. This is Ida Mae, coming to you live from my daddy's farmhouse in Wyandanche, Long Island. We're giving you all our love, all our blessings, on this Christmas Day, 1954. We be broadcast on WGBB Radio. Hope it's coming through okay. We asked the management for a little signal boost just for our Christmas show, but they having some trouble with the transmitter. So the station manager, he running out to buy some adhesive tape and pipe cleaners, and maybe they get this all fixed up before we through an hour or so from now. I want to remind you that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. He is the body and the spirit. He is your oatmeal in the morning. He is your sandwiches at lunch. And he is your grits at night. He's in the sea. He's in the ocean. He's in your pee. He's in your lotion. He's everywhere. And if you don't know where he is, you've got to go and find him, which makes me sing his song. Oh, gotta go find Jesus. Gotta go look for him. Gotta get your road map. Gotta take your children. Gotta take your doggies. Gotta take your chickens. Don't take no elephants. They step on Jesus. They feel sorry. Hey, everybody, say, girl, why you bring that elephant? What are you doing with the elephant? Don't need no animals. Go find Jesus. Ah! Oh, oh, I got the spirit in me. Oh, oh. And I want to remind everybody that the Gospel Truth with Ida May Show is brought to you by the Deer Street General Store. Otis and Cleola have been running that store up on 40 years now, and they are a righteous couple with fair prices and the best three cent candies you ever done tasted it. Open every day of the week except God's Day. The Deer Street General Store is your one stop shop for kitchen appliances, bathroom cleansers, and delicious homemade mints. So stop in the store and tell Otis and Cleola, Jesus loves me. Say it just like that. Jesus loves me. And see what they do. The Deer Street General Store right on the corner where they had that terrible accident last month. Woo! Did you ever see the likes of that? That car must have been going 20, 25 miles an hour. People, when you get behind the wheel, please remember that God may be in the passenger seat, 
but you'll be the one driving. And if you're careless, and you get yourself killed, you go up on that judgment day, and you've got to answer for yourself. Was I a good person? Was I good to my family? Did I give enough to charity? Did I make a left turn into oncoming traffic without using my directional? And you can't lie. Oh, no! Because you know who'll be up there at the pointy gates with a capital J that rhymes with praying. You better do it. Because his name is Jesus. And he watch you driving. And he see you careless. Or he give you a ticket straight down to Hades. You're going to dance with the devil. Go be in this pitchfork. When you're going to be with Jesus. Na 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 na. Ah ha ha ha. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ida May is rocking tonight. Woo. She is rising and shining and giving God her glory, glory. Because this is the day. Christmas Day. And let's remember what that's all about. It ain't about buying expensive presents or wearing a fancy hat to church. It ain't about whipping up a glazed ham or watching the kids ride their homemade sleds down the landfill. No, ma'am. It's about a man who gave his life so we could live through him. It's about loving our neighbors, honoring our parents, christening our children, and welcoming our friends. And I'm glad You've been welcoming me to your homes on this Christmas Day. You know, I don't get paid for this. I help my daddy on his farm that bring a little money. But my radio show, I do that because I feel it's my mission to bring the word of Jesus and the power of his name to all of you. So, if you feel the power, if my words burn you with a sacred fire, if you want a tax-deductible way of saying amen, why not dig into your pocketbooks and your wallets and come through with a little thank you to old Ida May. Ain't no obligation. If you don't have it, don't do it. But if you do, and you ain't giving it because you're stingy, remember who else is listening to this show and who'll be watching you and how's he gonna feel about one of his children being a big old Scrooge on Christmas. So be generous and give with your heart. Ten percent of every penny Ida May gets goes to my church. Another ten percent goes to my engineer at the station. He sure eat a lot of crawlers. I keep telling him, you're filling your body, but not your soul. You're swelling your belly, but you're blinding your mind. <laughs> he all right, though. He's just illuminated. And he's nice enough to be recording this here show in case we go off the air. So we be taking the station break in a minute or two, give old Ida May a chance to catch her breaths and do some other things. Takes me a couple of minutes now to get to that tree across the road, so we'll play some music for you. But while I'm gone, I want you to think about Christmas. And what it really mean. I want you to give yourself over to Jesus. You gotta let him in. Let him come into your heart. Let him come into your body. And if he don't fit, use a lubricant. And when he come for you, or maybe he's some one of them prophets, I want you to tell him, I the may sent you, that the pious shall be uplifted and the wicked cast down. That the good shall be rewarded, and the naughty shall get an eternal slap upside their head. And when Jesus do that, it hurt, because he got them big, rough carpenter hands. And, and maybe he still have them spikes in them, so they tear through your cheek pretty good. He smack you around, you say, you say, oh, oh, isn't Jesus, you can back that hook there, come knock my teeth out, I'm going to look real goofy, I don't want for Christmas. It's my two front teeth, you knocked out. Don't hurt me, Jesus. I made a little boo-boo. I'm going to change my ways. I ain't going to comment. No, I ain't going to gossip. All them on the commandments. Going to try and keep them. Oh, but you're going to have to help me. I know you're busy. Sorry to bother you, but when you was hitting me, I learned my lesson. You're my power. You're the only answer. 
You my proudest dancer. Oh, oh my God. Oh, you things. Oh, oh, I better take that break now. You listening to the gospel truth with Lady Miss Ida Mae Roosevelt on WGBB Radio. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's caboose. Merry Christmas to you, and God bless you.